In 1985, after 75 years of glorious service, the model 1911-45 was retired. What stepped up to take its place was the Beretta M9 9mm. Stick around, we're going to talk about it. We've noticed a large percentage of our viewers have not subscribed, so if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks for joining us on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. And on behalf of the channel, we want to thank all of our subscribers and viewers for sticking around with us. And uh, today we're going to spend a little bit of time with the uh, Beretta M9. If you want to find out more information about it, you can check out the description box below. But anyway, we want to spend a little bit of time talking about it. Back in the early 80s, the 1911 was getting pretty tired. They had been changed out, switched out, and you had some pretty tired guns. And America was also under pressure to catch up with, uh, with Europe. So because of that, we wanted to standardize the rounds just in case we went to war with Russia. And the standard round in Europe, as uh, part of our uh, treaty, was the 9mm. So we wanted to try to get with the 9mm so everybody would have the same supply chain. So because of that, America went to and investigated the Beretta. Um, at the same time, during the same series of tests, the uh, SIG 226 was also introduced. However, the total package price for the Beretta came in a little bit lower, and the 226 didn't quite make it. Uh, the 226 per, per package was actually a little bit higher when you included all the magazines and all the accessories. So the M9 Beretta won out. Now, it's a great pistol, it's a great shooter. Um, it has 15 rounds held in a double stack magazine. It also has what's called an open frame. All of the frame is exposed, so you get very positive ejection. There's nothing to get hung up when this thing ejects because the frame is open the complete length. It also comes in a traditional double action style, meaning that it comes with such things as a hammer drop safety, completely disables the pistol when the safety is on, or if it's in single action when the gun is racked, it can be uh, de-escalated down into double action to where the first pull acts as a safety. So you end up with something that is a safe and an economical design and actually gives more rounds uh, than the, the 7 Plus one that the 1911 had. In popular culture, you'll probably also see Mel Gibson running around with one of these in the Lethal Weapon series. So it's also been very, very popular not just with the military, but with law enforcement as well as civilians. So the bread is very reliable. It's easy to take care of. It's easy to take apart. There's not too many bad things to say about it. It's also a really fun gun to shoot. So with that in mind, let's load it up and have some fun with it. Yeah, I like that. You know what else I like? Shooter shout out. Yeah. Our first shout out goes to Jay Winters. Glock versus Springfield XD was the video he liked. And he writes, I'm gonna give you a hearty thumbs up. Why? I like the fact that you're not a know-it-all. You're informative and point out things that are not super obvious, like some. Hey Jay, thanks. I'm just a gun guy like the rest of you. I've been in it a while, but I'm trying to learn new stuff every day. So that's the whole trick to everything, is keep an open mind and be ready to learn something new. Now, I'd also like to thank, and um, here's a trigger alert. The guy's name is Ah. Why is there poop in your mouth? That's a very interesting handle. Good luck with that. He likes safety tips for new gun owners. And he writes, Best firearms instructor I've seen yet. Damn, Jay, you got great taste. All right, you, sir, need to be cloned so you can teach nationwide. Thank you, but 
I'm afraid of whatever happens to me when I get cloned. According to my wife, I'm a lot more than she wants to handle already, give alone two or three. So because of that, I don't think it's going to happen, but I appreciate your input and thanks for the thanks for the big shout out and the big hands hands up. So anyway, we want to thank you all for tuning in. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. And on behalf of Shooter the Series and my good friend and my partner Steve, who makes all of this happen, thanks for tuning in. Um, also, uh, don't be afraid to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the action. Join our community, help us on our journey, be there for us, and make some more comments. Y'all take care.